What's up, family, man? It's been a while. Let you know, today is my daughter's third birthday. I've been taking a break from vlogging. I'm going to continue to take a break. We'll talk a little bit about that, but I have not missed a birthday vlog on my daughter. I vlog every one of my daughter's birthday, one, two, and here we are with three. Uh, so let's chat a little bit. I'll catch you up. We'll talk about the break. Uh, hopefully you all understand. Uh, thank you for your support. I appreciate it, uh, but let's get into it. I can't take no loss, yeah. I don't even know what it costs. Huh. I hit the ground, then it go off, yeah. Hit the ground, then it go off, yeah. I can't take no loss, yeah. I don't even know what it costs, yeah. I hit the ground, then it go off, yeah. Hit the ground, then it go off, yeah. Yeah, run it, run it, ooh. I really feel it's my time, think it's my year, yeah. Yeah, I really feel it's my time, think it's my year, yeah. All right, family. So let's get into it. Uh, I had planned on taking a break from YouTube anyway because we had a lot of things going on uh, with Harper finalizing some things with our journey with her, which thank God uh, has been finalized. And I mean, the greatest feeling ever uh, this Father's Day that just passed. Uh, and actually, she was born uh, the day after father's day three years ago it's been amazing to finally have some things complete that we've been a journey on for a long long time uh but just to be quite transparent you know I, i'm just doing it because i need to just it's more personal uh things that i need to kind of realign and uh kind of some self-care type of things spiritually uh emotionally all of that uh that i need to get aligned in uh I, i'm a person that is on go mode so much uh, and uh, I have not treated myself very well, have not treated myself very well at all, uh, spiritually and, and, and mentally, uh, and um, things happen that kind of force me uh, to kind of stop. I'm doing that now, decided to, to pull away uh, for a while, not that YouTube is any type of distraction for me. I love vlogging, it's something I love to do, uh, but I also understand uh, that you have to pull back from things uh, to kind of work on yourself. So been in a, a pretty dark place that I'm not used to uh, on the outside. Everything is still clicking like normal. I had just not been in the greatest, greatest space. Working on like really digging in, uh, trying to be, um, trying to be better, right? Trying to be a better person overall uh, and trying to take care of myself more. So uh, I've decided to pull away uh, from YouTube. Not totally. I mean, real. I mean, Dwayne is even before we took the break uh, to work on a new intro, kind of a new direction uh, for the channel. Still dealing with the same content. I will will definitely be back because I love doing this. Love connecting. Just kind of love uh, take you on my journey. This is a part uh, of my story that uh, is not the greatest. It's not the greatest right now. But as always, God will always get uh, the glory in, in my life and all of that. So. Uh, it's just a, you know, it's just a part of it, right? A, a part of things that, so a path and a journey that I'm walking through right now, but I know I'm going to be better afterwards. I was not uh, in certain ways uh, allowing God total control uh, of my life. Now you can serve and I serve as I'm a part of leadership of the church, but it's a, you can get so busy in serving and get so busy in doing things that you don't check your own kind of temperature, so to speak, and make sure that you get, because you get in the routine of just serving. So, you know, you develop kind of like a kinship and, a, and a, just a relationship with God that's just kind of, you know, based on service, but really kind of digging deep uh, as I get older, as I'm a father now, uh, as I need to, to lead my family, just kind of digging deep uh, on what I need to do just to be a better, better person. So, I mean, that's transparency, right? It's always not highs. It's not always lows, but uh, you know I know we're we're adjusted and trained to kind of highlight social media's highlights, and this is going well, this is not. Uh, but often we're not willing to be vulnerable, and vulnerable doesn't mean like casting all your business and sharing all of this, uh, but just coming from a space of hey, you know what, I'm not okay, haven't been okay, and I'm working on being okay, uh, and uh, I think there's a level of vulnerability uh, that is needed. You know I have a a loving family, loving wife, loving daughter, loving loving parents, loving uh, brothers, uh, but you can have all this around you, loving uh, loving support from church, but still feel all alone, like still feel like it's just, just you walking through something alone in a dark place, just kind of around all these people, but yet still alone. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things that have been happening. I've joined the car club, which is perfect for car content. So when I get back up and rolling, 
Uh, shout out to Jay Lee and Street Kings. I'll definitely uh, be doing a lot more of Cartel. I'm excited about that. Um, did that. The Range Rover has been out of commission for about four weeks now. Uh, that is, I had it at Mark Mazza. Uh, I am $700 in the hole for just, to them, just for them to diagnose the problem. The issue is that uh, if I leave it sitting so the engine is kind of cold, it will start just fine. Uh, but as soon as that, as soon as the engine gets warmed up and you know car gets moving, if I stop at the grocery store, come back out, it will not start. Very frustrating uh, thing with that. I uh, spent uh, 17 and some change to get it out. The next day I had to take it back because uh, I was fixing a whole other issue and that happened to where it wouldn't start. Uh, so right now it's at Aristocrat Motors. They're trying to diagnose it. So we'll see. Uh, kind of, um, it's looking like, and I'm not speaking negatively, but it's just looking like it's going to be a very expensive issue. And I know I vlog about it, but the thing is going to be now whether it's worth putting that money into it. So that's been happening on that end. Uh, my grandfather's car, the uh, Chrysler New Yorker, is back at the house. Uh, so uh, that'll be constant. That's more of a, uh, you know, that's financially I have to be able to take on. That's a real, real huge project. That's not just on racing stripes. Like I tell the scat 10 windows, that's a pretty big project to undergo. Uh, so financially, I have to, you know, be able to take that on and keep moving with it. Because you supported me, uh, you know, and you subscribed and you watched and you, you know, you helped me grow the channel like I've asked you to do. Uh, and I just don't want to disappear, uh, which just kind of like, you know, he's not throwing up anything. I wanted to at least get an explanation uh, to what's going on and what's been happening with me. Today, we're going to, it's Harper's third birthday, uh, so I'm, I'm on my way home. I'm going to put together kind of her gift. Uh, I'm going to try to get some balloons, decorate my car uh, so we can pick her up from school. Uh, we decided to, we were going to be out of town for her birthday. She's been talking about the beach, uh, but we kind of rescheduled that. Uh, and so we just kind of going to do something really really small uh, and she'll still have a ball then we'll kind of close out the vlog but uh, that's what's going on with me but when I tell you that uh, this day has been like so emotional <laughs> for me um, just the the fact that we're this is a different like I said Father's Day was different this is a different birthday um, just because you know everything has been finalized and it's been a long journey uh, for our family to get to that point um, and um, I, I couldn't be it's just God is grateful um, and uh, Harper is a true gift uh, and if YouTube is still around <laughs> when uh, Harper gets I mean she watches it now but oh to see this and that's why I like vlogging about birthdays because if it, any vlogs I'll go back and watch I'll watch the ones with Harper over and over again her first trip when we went to Florida her first birthday and that stuff just tears me up to see uh, kind of to see her emotion but um, Harper, I, I love you. You are the greatest gift uh, that we could have ever asked for. Um, and you are already making me better as a person. Um, and uh, I appreciate you so much. You are such a joy. You have such a huge heart already. And my job is to be the greatest dad I can be to you, the greatest parent, uh, and uh, to give you all, all that you can ever dream of not just in the form of just giving what you want but to give you all the every opportunity uh, and to make sure that you have every opportunity to be what you want to be uh and i am up for the task i wouldn't want any other task uh so happy birthday baby i love you and uh let's get this thing started okay we're back here is the there it is that is the ride for harper that's her gift so let's put this together and it is going to be put together in five Four, three, two, one. And just like that family, boom. Let's do a little B-roll of Harper's new, <laughs> whatever this thing is called, uh, something flyer, I believe. But let's hit it. So that project is done. Uh, took me about <laughs> a half, I mean, hour and a half. Uh, I was stopping phone calls, all that other stuff, but, uh, so that's done. Uh, so it's almost time to go pick Harper up from school and then we'll be at Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, again, uh, thank you all for rocking with me. Uh, I know I'll be on a, a break, but today is all about the happy number three for my baby. So let's have some fun. Join us at Chuck E. Cheese, small family gathering, but let's get to it. Happy birthday, baby. Harper number three. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 